Hey there, awesome physics students. Let's talk about shielding electric fields. So the example I want to start with here is imagine you have a parallel plate uh, electric field. And what I mean by that is you have two uh, conductive plates and they're arranged like this. And th the top one is charged positively and the bottom one is charged negatively. And we want to, uh, so the electric field is going to point down like this. Now imagine that in this particular configuration we have these two parallel plates and the field inside is going to be a uniform electric field. Uh, let's say we put a metal pipe or a conductive pipe inside here. So this is like a tube and it's a conductor so charges inside there can move freely. What is going to happen if you put it in this uh, electric field? Well, the electric field points down. The positive charges are going to feel a force down, and so they're going to go to the bottom of the conductor. The uh, electric field, the effect of the electric field pointing down on the negative charges, they'll feel a force in the opposite direction because they're negative charges, and negative charges feel the opposite direction force. And so the charges are going to rearrange themselves to look like this. So then the electric field outside of the pipe is going to uh, get reshaped to look like this. So those charges are going to, uh, you know, the electric field is going to go from the positive to the negative here, and then it's going to go from the positive to the negative here. Okay, what does the electric field inside look like? Well, let's draw this um, tube all by itself and like this. So we have the positive charges at the bottom and the negative charges on top. And the electric field inside, if we just think about this configuration with the pipe all by itself, the electric field is going to go from the positive to the negative, just like this. And then, uh, but if we think about adding to that, the electric field from just the parallel plates all by themselves, so we're kind of considering these separate um, and thinking about how to add them. So the electric field by itself is just going to be straight down, just like that. So here I have the electric field that's up, here I have the electric field that's down, and when you add those two like vectors, what are you going to get? You're going to get zero. So here the electric field is zero, and this is exactly what I mean by shielding. Where This uh, conductive pipe functions like a shield and inside if there's some outside electric fields the charges on inside the conductor will rearrange themselves to make the electric field inside zero. Now this is extremely useful to uh, make products and things like that so if you see like a, a piece of high-end audio electronics they're made of metal, and they don't make them of metal because they want to convey quality construction and all that stuff. They use plastic because it's way cheaper. The reason they use metal is because they're trying to keep outside electric fields, that is, uh, fields from other sources and who knows where they're coming from, they want to keep those out, and so they want to make the electric field inside for where the audio electronics are to be zero so that there's out, uh, no outside interference. Um, you also see this in your microwave. Uh, in that case, uh, it, you know, if you look at the microwave, it's all made of metal, and inside, if you open the door and look inside, the inside is all made of metal. In fact, if you, if you look at the door, you'll notice, if you look closely in the window, it's really just a piece of metal with a bunch of holes drilled in it. And the purpose of that is that there's an electric field inside the microwave. That's what's used to cook your food. And they want to keep that microwave the electric field from the microwave inside the cavity there, and, and you know, you don't want to look, look inside watch your food cooking and your face gets cooked too, right? So, so the purpose of that is to contain the electric field inside. Uh, the other purpose is that if you have, uh, or the other application or, or uh, way we can understand this is, you probably heard the safest place to be in a, in a lightning storm is a car. And why would that be? Uh, some people say it's because the tires are made of rubber and that's an insulator. But if you get a lightning bolt that goes through uh, a mile of air and then it encounters your car and your car is a conductor and so it goes through that very easily and then it encounters two inches of rubber uh, it's not going to say oh two inches of rubber I'm sorry I can't do that uh, it's already gone through a mile of air 
It doesn't care. Two inches of rubber is not going to stop it. What does stop it, though, is that if there's an electric field on your car, your car is a conductor. And so the charges will rearrange themselves inside your car so that uh, what they will produce their own electric field. And that electric field in, in the metal inside the car will cancel the electric field of outside, which is from the lightning storm. And inside here, the electric field will be zero. And of course, you are inside the ca cavity of the car. And so the electric field that you experience will be zero and you will be kept safe by that. So that is why um, uh, cars are the so-called safest place to be. I mean, it's, it's nice to be in your house too. So, all right.